Good morning, welcome to Vlogmas Day 7. So let's see what's in day number 7 of the Unicorn Puffs and Rainbows Advent Calendar. Ooh! The double bag! That confused me. Oh yes! <laughs> oh I love it! So it's a little pin badge. It says yarn friend on it. Now, are you going to play ball camera? If I put it in front of my face, you should be able to see it. There you go. Shiny pen. It's a, an acrylic pen. Fabulous. Well, I can go with my other sheep one I showed you the other day from Mrs. G Makes. Brilliant. Love that one. Now, I think the idea is everything in the shop, it's never been in her shop before, but it may well come. So the pen I showed you on day two, I think it was, uh, with the Proud Hooker, she's now got those in her Etsy shop. So I'll try and remember to put a link in the description, but it's Unicorn Puffs and Rainbows. Um, so if you want, and she's got different colours as well. So I was very tempted because it was a pink one. I was like, no, no, you've got a purple one. You don't need two that say the same thing. So it's really cool. So these may well at some point end up in her shop. Fingers crossed. Okay, so yesterday evening, didn't have a huge amount of time to crochet, um, but I did manage to get another couple of rows done on Santa's coat. Um, and I've done one of my little tricks here. They said to use some yarn, um, but I used a stitch marker instead um, to mark the right side, because we're meant to increase on the right side but not on the wrong side. So um, so I've got that marked, actually so that's upside down, here we go. So that's uh, that's coming along slowly, but hopefully we'll get more of that done today. So the plan for today is planning. Planning for 2022. It just seems crazy, doesn't it? It's like, where's the time gone? Um, so I have a, a Zoom businessy call uh, lunchtime, so I haven't decided if I'm going to do that and eat lunch at the same time or do them separately. Um, but I also want to get planning on now we've moved into the house, so I want to sort of see where I can take this forward. Um, obviously, I'm not working now, so I'm going to need to try and figure out some way that I can make money. Um, you now, I'm making small amounts from the other two businesses. But obviously this one I'm not really making any money because the idea is I want to help and teach people. So what can I do to pivot something slightly so that I could make some money and still do this, which is what I really want to try and do. So because this is my baby, you know, uh, what Conquer Crochet is because I just love helping people. That's the main thing. Um, so that's what I'm doing. So I'm going to show you how I do my planning and how I plan for my YouTube videos, um, the planner that I've got for next year and all that kind of lovely stuff. So I'm going to catch up on some emails first and I shall see you in a little while. An awful day. So we've got another storm coming here in the UK. We had one a couple of weeks ago. Um, that was Storm Anwen. Uh, I can't remember the name of this one. It begins with a B. can't remember. Um, so if you're out in this storm at the moment, I mean, it's pretty rainy here and very blowy. And we're just hoping our trees out the back stay standing. Um, so I'm thinking I might knock off early and have a lovely warm shower. I don't know if you can hear that. But that's the rain coming down, so I apologise for that. I'm on, in an attic space and it's just chucking it down. <laughs> okay, so I said earlier I was going to talk to you about planning. So I do lots of different sorts of planning um, with my businesses and with Conquer Crochet. Um, so one of the things I like to do, I just made this up on um, Excel. So I just have my social media plan with a week. Here's my Conquer Crochet, here's my Frith Friends, here's my Wild Plan Arena, 
so I post to Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest and all three and then obviously Crochet, uh, Conquer Crochet has the YouTube as well and I just stole the images off the internet just to make it look a bit more pro um, so if you've ever noticed my magazine racks here um, I keep everything on um, what you call them, clipboards so I can just take things in uh, I have lots of notebooks with things in as well but when I finally decided what I'm doing things go on a clipboard they're in there I can find them I know exactly where they are so gosh it's terrible out there so that's how I do my social media planning so I can go through and if there's any particular dates coming up you know national days national holidays um, random you know national cupcake day or there's something like the bake-off final or strictly final or something that might be appropriate to what you're doing then I you know, mark those in so I can prepare if there's anything I need to do early on Golly. Um, with YouTube then I have a slightly different sheet so this one um, I, I was going to record my screen but it's not working at the moment so the date that I'm going to publish it the video and then anything I might need to pre-make so when I was doing the edging uh, patterns um, I had to pre-make all the squares so make sure I've got all my pre-makes done before I sit down to record there's nothing worse sitting there ready to record you've got a lovely quiet day and then say oh, I'll do the makes first um, so all the different parts that I record um, then I schedule in the editing and then doing the thumbnails and social media posts and then actual scheduling to YouTube and scheduling the posts for social media so actually quite a lot goes into a YouTube channel um, I know lots of people go oh yeah it's just YouTube's great marvellous you know just upload a video but phew, it takes, takes quite a while especially when you first start and you're learning how to edit I was watching a video the other day that was saying you wear all sorts of different hats when you're a YouTuber because you have to be a videographer, you have to be an editor, you have to be a social media promoter, marketing, you need to be a graphic designer for doing all your thumbnails, you need to be an SEO expert for getting found and oh God, why would anyone start? It's crazy. Anyway, step by step, learning how to do things. I'm still learning all the time with YouTube. So that's how I plan out my YouTube. So I've actually got all my YouTube videos planned so far up to end of May. <laughs> now, I, what I use um, are Frixian pens. So I, I write everything. I, I love Frixian pens. I've talked about these for using on crochet patterns if you're marking off because you can rub them out with friction. Um, so I schedule everything that I think I want to do and then something comes up is like oh I forgot that I need to do a video about X I can go right scratch that one out there write it in later on and then put that video in so it's quite easy for me to edit things on here I'm I could do it all on computer but actually I quite like having things on paper um, I also have um, calendars that I print off so I can then put in, right, well this day I need to record, this day I need to edit, so I can actually plan my time out. And these calendars, let me just show you, I've printed off next year's already. So these calendars are from blankcalendars.com. I oh, know this is wiki calendar. So wiki-calendar.com, but there's blankcalendar.com as well. So you can have just say a one page calendar. Um, you can just circle things off or you can get ones with squares you can have them vertically as well as horizontally you can have them with notes bits and they're all free I mean yes you don't have the fancy bits on them some of them you are able to edit the um, the color of the font and the size of the font um, but for my needs and I'm, I'm making a mess and writing things down and scratching things out so I also have my normal um, planner. This is my um, awesome marketing planner from Claire Mitchell. And I've had these now for the last four years, I think it is. I think this is either my fourth or my fifth one, I'm not sure. So this is next year's, it's still in its wrapper. Um, what you get with this, uh, as well as the planner, is uh, lots of online training 
on uh, marketing things and managing your money and little bits on promoting this uh, weekly emails that you get she calls them her bum kick emails to remind you to do things and there's various challenges so each month there's a particular theme so it might be an Instagram challenge or a Facebook group challenge or something like that um, and I just think they're absolutely amazing and I use them all the time and write everything in it even though I still have a Google Calendar uh, on my phone because if I didn't my husband wouldn't know what was going on but you know, he doesn't need to know when I'm scheduling my YouTube posts and things. Um, so there's my new shiny planner. Do you like the smell of new books? It's weird. <laughs> it might be a, a, a strange thing to me, <sighs> but it's lovely. So in here then you've got a little note from uh, Claire, the author, various calendar dates. You've got a year to view. Um, she, she recommends everyone doing a business vision, um, magic marketing strategy, so what you're going to do each month, content generators, what you're going to plan in your, your newsletters, which is something I'm really hoping to get back on track with. And then each month you have the month to view that you can put little notes on and you have your social media planner, so if you wanted to do it in your book rather than the way I do it there cash flows and then it starts on with the days but the pictures around it are absolutely beautiful and it all ties in with her um, aesthetic that she has on social media as well so she's really thought it through and her favourite uh, creature is a bee so she's got bees on the front as well um, and I just think they're absolutely gorgeous so it's like the number one thing you must get done this month plenty of room for actually writing things and then she has this weekly tracker at the bottom um it could be tracking whatever you want tracking the amount of water you drink tracking your numbers for um youtube or so different social medias so you know have your subscribers gone up or have your um followers on instagram gone up and that kind of thing so i'm going to spend this afternoon i have a, a an online sort of group meeting with Claire um, talking about planning for next year so uh, that's why I wanted to open my planner now and let you see it so that you can uh, join in with the, the smell the smell of vision that's what we need um, so I'm going to be doing that this afternoon and I probably will do a little bit of note taking a little bit of crochet whilst I'm watching that video this afternoon um, and oh I haven't shown you my um, stockings so we've done today seven of the stockings I shall pop it on the screen now so we're getting ever closer with the stockings being finished they seem to be going on forever um, and so one of the things I was saying about the the head that I made for Father Christmas was supposed to be one day's worth whereas this stocking is like seven eight days worth or nine days worth probably um just doesn't seem to marry up so um i'm thinking about taking the pressure off myself and i'm just not going to try and keep up with it if i get it finished by christmas yay if i don't then i just keep making it throughout christmas and it'll be there ready for next christmas but i am going to make sure the garland's done because that seems to be a lot quicker to work through i don't know why it just is so um, I think that's going to be it for me today. Uh, lots of boring things that you probably don't want to see and I'm going to finish early. I'm going to have a nice bath and just have a chilled evening crocheting I think. So have a lovely rest of your afternoon evening and I will see you for vlogmas day 8 tomorrow. Happy hooking!